15 Money Mistakes to Avoid in Your 20s In your 20s, you're trying to figure out life and hopefully learning from your mistakes. For many, this is the first time they've had to deal with their finances on their own. You might be considering taking out student loans or attempting to repay them. You're starting out in the workforce and learning how to manage credit cards and pay bills. What you do with your money in your 20s your saving and spending habits, as well as any debt you take on will follow you into your 30s and beyond. Here are 15 money mistakes to avoid in your 20s. Number 1. Spending more than you make. Living within sort of your means month after month literally is the actually key to building wealth, which definitely is fairly significant. However, if we particularly have to particularly go without, we often generally feel deprived, especially if we for the most part believe everyone else definitely is living the kind of good life in a major way. Spending beyond your means, on the other hand, isn't sustainable, as you'll soon discover when the bills start piling up. Acquire the ability to be content with what you have. Spend less and you'll discover that having financial freedom is far more empowering and satisfying than trying to keep up with others. Number 2. Not tracking your money. You'll literally be for all intents and purposes more aware of your spending habits and what you are actually doing with pretty your money if you track particularly your money in a pretty big way. You may for the most part believe you are being frugal and doing everything you can to specifically save money, but when you literally look at the generally fine print, you will see that your daily latte, lunch outings, and happy hour drinks are costing you more than you can afford. Number 3. Not setting financial goals. It takes time and effort to build wealth and financial security. If you don't have a plan, you're just winging it. Setting financial goals allows you to define the parameters of your budget and focus on specific objectives. You mostly need to predominantly sit down and notably take a pretty much realistic look at how to really pay off debt, in general buy a peculiarly new computer, elementally save for a car, and for all intents and purposes put money away for retirement if you really want especially do so. Number 4. Living off credit cards. There is something you really in fact want, and in your wallet principally is an undoubtedly small piece of plastic that fairly says you can literally get it. Certainly sure, you LL on the whole have to mostly repay it at some point. Take care. This is a normally guaranteed way to strikingly accumulate mountains of debt that will definitely take years to distinctly repay. If especially there is one thing in most cases financial experts primarily agree on, it is that you actually shouldn't rely on credit cards to particularly get by. Number 5. Not having an emergency fund. Anyone, at any age, can be affected by an emergency. Unexpected circumstances can range from the loss of a job to an unexpected car repair bill. An emergency fund can keep you out of debt and give you peace of mind when you're faced with a stressful situation. Many financial experts recommend setting aside at least three months' salary, if not more. Until your emergency fund is fully funded, include it in your budget. Number 6. Telling yourself financial lies. To make yourself feel better about the state of your bank account, it's easy to tell yourself financial lies. Do you avoid paying your bills or looking at your bank statements? Do you tell yourself that your future self will take care of your financial problems? We want to believe that once we really get a better job or a raise, things will get chiefly better. The problem mostly is that these, actually, financial in fact lies obscure the truth about your spending habits and financial situation. In most cases make an honest assessment of your financial situation and work from there. Number 7. Not taking advantage of your free time to earn extra money. ULL never principally have as exceptionally much time and energy as you literally do now. This specially is a limited resource, so rather than on the whole binge watching your favorite shows, fairly put your especially free time to broadly work and honestly earn money. With a side hustle, you can often make as for all intents and purposes good living, and there actually are plenty of micro jobs to predominantly earn some normally extra cash. Number 8. Putting off saving for retirement. The bottom line on retirement savings is that the sooner you start putting money into a 401k or other retirement account, the longer that money has to accumulate interest and grow into a healthy fund that will see you through your golden years. Before going on, if you feel that I have given you some value, please help me by smashing the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. So you will be updated when I upload new videos like this.
Essentially starting in your 20s, try to chiefly save between 10% and 15% of your income for retirement. To principally figure out how in most cases much you should principally save, distinctly use an online calculator. Number 9. Not taking calculated risks. In your 20s, you should take advantage of opportunities and see where life takes you. Take calculated risks now, before you are burdened with a large number of responsibilities, kids, marriage or needing to put others first. Starting a business, relocating to a metropolitan area where higher paying jobs are available, and furthering your education in your chosen field are all smart risks. Number 10. Allowing college expenses to balloon. Since the 1980s, college tuition really has definitely more than doubled. However, there definitely are ways to definitely keep your expenses particularly low and your debt from extremely ballooning while you chiefly pursue your education. For starters, substantially keep in mind that any student loans you broadly take out will actually have to almost always be certainly repaid, with interest. The less money you borrow, the less money you'll have to pay back later. Begin your education at a community college and then transfer to a four-year institution. Purchase used books and apply for merit-based scholarships and financial aid. To save money for tuition and other expenses, get a part-time job and work the summers. Number 11. Paying off the wrong debts first. You're determined to pay off your debts, but you're not sure where to start. Should you work on your student loans, credit card debt, car loan, or mortgage? Experts advise that you pay off your highest interest bad debt first. Anything that does not improve your financial situation, such as credit cards, personal bank loans, and automobile loans, is considered bad debt. Concentrate on paying off the debt with the highest interest rate. Number 12. Going into debt for a luxury ride. You've landed your first good-paying job. Many 20-somethings first priority is to upgrade their vehicle. It's not a good idea. Spending a lot of money or going into debt for a flashy car is a waste of money because it will depreciate quickly. Not only that, but you're probably trying to keep up with the Joneses, which is never a good idea. Instead, put that money toward your education, your savings, or your retirement. You'll thank your 20-something self in the future. Number 13. Careless spending. Do you feel as if you're barely scraping by between paychecks? It's likely that you've been squandering your money, and it's time to stop. Avoid those haphazard shopping sprees by paying with cash. Make a shopping list, pack a lunch, and try to eat most of your meals at home. Limit your online shopping because late-night purchases can add up quickly. Number 14. Not having health insurance. It's tempting to go without health insurance when you're young and healthy. After all, why spend all that money if you only go to the doctor once in a while? However, the cost of a medical emergency can quickly escalate and bankrupt you. Even a trip to the emergency room can leave you stranded in debt. And putting off medical treatment for years can end up costing you thousands of dollars later on when medical problems you've been putting off arise. Number 15. Going into debt for a wedding and starting a family without a financial plan. You found your true love and are ready to tie the knot. That's fantastic. It's your big day, but keep in mind that it's only one day. Before saddling yourself with long-term debt, make a budget and carefully consider your options. Take into account that the average wedding can cost upwards of $31,200, at least for US. That's more than half of the median household income of $55,218 and just short of a 15% down payment on a $228,700 home. A middle-income family will spend about $245,300 to raise one child from birth to 18 years old, not including the cost of pregnancy, lost income during maternity leave, or college for your child. If you're expecting a baby, now is the time to start thinking about maternity-slash-paternity leave and a post-delivery budget, which should include diapers and childcare. A quick tip on how to actually start a financial plan with your significant other is to just dive in into the discussion and start talking about it money. It can be so awkward to talk about money with a significant other who wants to deal with that. But if you're getting serious with someone, it's time to have the talk. You can kind of start by predominantly having general discussions on your views about money, how you deal with specifically big purchases, and how you really invest and truly save. Have honest, open discussions about your views on money and work on sort of coming up with literally financial goals together. What do you think about our list? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoy watching this video, 
please do not hesitate to give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep you updated to our fresh contents made for you. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.